Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is the full month of March 2021 love and general situationship tarot reading session for you Virgo. I hope you're well, I hope you're fine, I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading for today is for the month of March 2021. This includes love intuitive message and general situationship, career, finance, and general relationship. So this is for you. Okay, what can I get for Virgo, please? What is the love message? What is the general situation for the Virgo friends out there? Thank you so much, Virgo, for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Ooh, your card. Wow, look at that. Um, There is a Virgo full moon happening on the 27th of Feb. Okay, it's a very healing um virgo full moon i have created a blog and um if you are interested to read the blog the article it's in my website i've also included a ritual routine um on how to utilize the virgo full moon it is under your sign it is a special full moon it's very healing and it is positioned after or it is positioned at the last last day you know at the end part of february and then we're gonna move into march which pretty much sum up the almost there you know we're almost finishing up the first three months of 2021 so i feel like the virgo full moon it is an energy to remind us to take a last look of all the pain and hurt and disappointment of 2020 and let go and release because March is very fiery, blaze, trailblazer. So it's time to really propel ourselves to our goal, to our new manifestation by removing excess baggage from 2020. It's really interesting. So have a look at the blog. Go to the website www.sunshine-tv.com if you, if you are interested. Uh, for guest viewers, thank you for coming back. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell, guys, if you're interested. And so let's start your reading. So this is for the full month of March 2021. This will include love and general situationship. It will have career, finances, and general relationships. So let's start your reading. Um, what's interesting with your energy, Virgo, is you started with your own... Um, we started up with a Virgo card, the Hermit card. You had been thinking, Okay. There's a lot of things that's bothering you. You've been, there's some sort of internal battle that's going in with you. You look quiet, but there is war. If not war, but there is, you look quiet from outside, but there's a lot of thinking and processing inside of you. It's possible that you have a new job. It's possible that you're looking for a new job. It's possible that you're looking into, in, into a new love or you have a love, but there is a challenge. But you look peace from the outside. But internally, you're battling something. You're understanding something. Your silence from outside is 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 giving the other the, is giving the world and the other person um, some sort of indication that something is going on. Something is going on. You're looking for happiness. You want to be happy. Ten of Cups is here. The Two of Swords. The of... You are not settling for less. Oh my God. The Two of Swords. The Ten of Cups. You want it all. You know. Um, you Virgo contemplating on a huge event for some of you guys. This is for some of you. There is a recurring situation at work. Or a recurring situation um, in your life. And you are sitting in your power. You know the virgo card and really uh would like to hit two birds at the same tone so, the same, two birds at the same stone you want to be happy and you want to have money and stability and the way it's set up two of swords it seems to be it seems to be you have made up your mind whatever you're doing whatever your manifestation whatever your thinking process it is going to happen it will happen so keep battling that fear that drama keep 
achieving or not settling for less because I've got I, I have 10 cups and 10 of pentacles this is very ambitious bust but it, it's it is achievable okay so I really get a sense that um for some of you if you'll not get love you'll get you know the best job you know the best um something to do with um you want you want both okay for some of you guys you could get both happiness in your family and stability in your life it's gonna start you're, you're gonna start to put your roots you know i'm really seeing like you're gonna start to put your roots into getting happiness and stability at the same time for some of you um this is your goal. This is your focus because the Virgo full moon is really healing. After that, something's gonna come up. Something is gonna, something is gonna feel refreshed after the twenty seventh for you and for almost every one of us. It depends. It's it's it, it's just different on the highlight, but it's pretty much the same. Something is gonna be illuminated. Something is gonna be released. So in your end, what you want is a back to back happiness, happiness and money, career. And happiness in life which is great you know if you're going to be ambitious you know you do you, you know you give it all you want it all and here it is this is your request to the universe your request to the universe is gonna be granted it's gonna be processed just make sure that you keep two of swords in reverse you keep your decision this way don't settle for less keep the people that makes you happy participate in things that makes you happy if you are aiming for a relationship or a new relationship then be open to it if you want a new work keep looking for work keep putting work into your manifestation for some of you um, i'm seeing the third week of march 2020 as a turning point for your love or for your career so for some of you i'm seeing this happening in the next three to six months okay from March up until pretty much three to six months, you will get either a, a new work or the Ten of Cups, a new love. So depending on how you manifest it and how you put an effort to it, go. You know, I really, you know, a, a, there's a go signal from now that your drive, the way you want things from now moving forward is quite ambitious. And the universe is supporting you that in one condition to put an effort on it okay you you've been through some of the hurt and pain and uh you know this is like an exercise that's not new to you and i think you are sitting in your element or the virgo card as as you know your unique way of processing challenges and understanding what's happening right now but one thing is for sure you being quiet you'll have a big comeback you'll have a huge comeback or a rebound or you'll you're going to bounce back from whatever it is that's dragging you down whether it's you fear based or it could be other people or it could be a situation pushing you to feel this way but there's definitely some challenges there's a lot of thinking but if you keep the momentum of i want this i want that i'll put an effort to get my happiness and to get this stability then the universe is saying you are approved keep going third week of march 2021 it's gonna be um, a turning point of some sort of result optimal optimum result okay so keep that momentum okay and then you've got the six of wands the four of wands um look at that um look at that someone in the past who someone in the past virgo who you dated who you dated or probably you were live in partner before you were live in partner before or you were previously married or maybe you're still married but separated six of wands four of wands um they will try to win you okay i'm seeing march april may they will march april may june they will resurface i'm seeing this at the end of march 2021 they will resurface they will start not romantic right away they will be friends with you okay i'm seeing this person um keeping tabs on you first contacting you keeping tabs on you first 
and they're kind of aware that um it seems to be you're very focused into something not yet they, they don't want to be rejected this person is very careful on how they approach you you've got a lot of history they're very careful in approaching you they would like to pivot into your life by being friends again and once they are comfortable i'm seeing the, i'm seeing it around april month that they would you know um they would um lay down their offer or they would be very blunt on their return something has changed with this person they're very stable they know what they want they're very stable and there's something to be proud of of there's something there's something that they would like to share to you some sort of achievement that is the starting point of conversation so i see this it's it's um it's a slow progress, slow, steady progress in terms of romantic and reconciliation. So if you're interested with this person, um, remember to keep it, keep it simple and stay as, um, keep it simple. Don't expect too much. Go with the flow. They will initiate the romantic energy. And I'm seeing the energy unfold, the romantic energy around April. So go with the flow. If they flirt and you're interested, flirt. But don't give in too much like don't open all you know don't open the window or i'm really get. i'm seeing like don't give it all you know like don't put all of your your eggs into one basket yet they're quite playing safe when they return um they talk a lot they share up it's 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 a person who who it seems to be they're going to highlight to you what happened to them their success and stuff like that this is a point that they're trying to make that they're good okay and they could be trusted and they're hardworking, and the romantic energy will pretty much start around april month so go with the flow start as friends and um they've got they've got some history about dating other people but that's that's behind so don't be insecure to know what they did in the past because that's not important because what's important is that they're connecting to you emotionally and you will notice that because the chariot card the king of pentacles they won't reveal the deal right away so you've got to really allow them to do that most especially if you are a female virgo let this person take charge if you are a male virgo um keep it steady um your person does not like if you are a male virgo um i see a female energy coming towards you initiating but you need to make them feel that you're interested otherwise they're gonna check out okay so it's essential for male virgo in the beginning they will initiate the female will initiate and then you need to make this um Whoever initiated, you need you need to give a signal that you're interested. Otherwise, they're gonna check out. For female Virgo, your person, um, they will reveal the deal pretty much around April. So keep the keep the communication steady, um, you know, flirty, friendship, casual and cool, um, because they're into highlighting how they how be how they become who they are right now. You know, they become, you know. They're very, you know, uh, the chariot, because the, once they're comfortable, the chariot card, the king of pentacles, it's going to be fast. It's more of this reading, okay, Virgo, the courtship, the courtship, the getting to know, it is quite slow, but steady. But as soon as you get the momentum, as soon as this person gets the momentum, you know, they will be blunt. You know, it would just happen one day and they will offer you the pentacles, hey. I really want us to get back you know you would be surprised so this is really good okay this is something to look forward for march and april and then um you've got the lovers card in reverse and the five of wands um there is a person at work who you do not get along um this person the lovers card in reverse i there's a person at work that you don't get along. I think you have worked with them in previous company or you know them from another team. But 
don't get affected with this there's no point to argue or get affected just do your work you know focus on your work because um for as long as you deliver they won't have anything they won't find they won't find they won't find anything to highlight for your error i don't think this is a micromanager it's just a person probably intimidated by you or interested to be because the lover's card in reverse you know sometimes when a person when a people want to collect us they come across nosy and it, it is kind of annoying you it is a it is suggesting you that this is not actually an enemy nor a competition there's just a wrong impression that you're getting from them so explore because maybe it you could you could find a friend to this person so it's a developing story so just watch out don't don't judge yet something like that and then you've got the hangman in reverse and the nine of cups and also you work very hard okay you work very hard don't forget to you work very hard don't forget to celebrate success even in the smallest form of success celebrate with your friends or reward yourself okay you deserve it small big success you deserve it so yep do not forget to celebrate or acknowledge success all right thank you virgo it is a pleasure doing the reading to you i'll see you soon again guys